Today we're going to show you how to change an ice maker in your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver and a small flat blade screwdriver. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step in this repair will be to turn the ice maker off. You set the switch to the off position. Next we're going to remove this ice door. There's a couple little hinge pins on the door that fit into a hinge bracket. So we're going to just push that bracket out just enough to clear the hinge pin and do the same on the opposite side. And we just set that aside. Next we'll remove the shelf here to give ourselves a little more room. There is one quarter inch hex head screw on the right side here that we need to remove. We can also remove the cover for the harness at the rear. Just lift up on it. That's the piece that the screw was going through. Unhook that and remove it. So there is also a locking tab on each side, these two tracks that hold the ice maker in place. With a small flat blade will depress those tabs and then slide the ice maker forward. Keeping the infrared door closed, we'll slide the ice maker forward. We get it out far enough that we can disconnect the wire harness. There's a single tab on the side of the harness. Just pull that open and disconnect the harness. Now we can take the ice maker to a suitable work surface and remove the base assembly from it to install on the new one. Now that we have the old ice maker out and on a suitable work surface, we'll turn it upside down and we're going to remove that base assembly from it. There's three quarter inch hex head screws. Simply remove those. We're also going to need to remove the wire harness connector from the end of that assembly. Just press the tabs in enough to drop it down through the opening. And then we can discard the old ice maker. Now we'll simply transfer the old casing onto the new ice maker. Line up three screw holes. Sure, they're all tight. Next, we'll insert the harness connector into the opening. Pop one end in first. Make sure the tab comes through clearly. and then lock it in place. Now we're ready to put it back in the refrigerator. Now we're ready to reinstall the ice maker. We'll stand it on end first, and connect the wire harness, make sure it locks into place. 
Now we're ready to slide it into the track. Line up the rails on both sides. Push it back until you hear those locking tabs snap in place. We'll reinstall the cover for the wire harness. Just tuck that up from the back side, right over top of the harness. And then reinstall the quarter inch hex head screw. Next, we'll reinstall the door. Engage one of the hinge pins first. Just gently bend that tab out enough to accept it. Turn the ice maker back on. And our repair is complete.